Hello, it is Sandra from Gracious Goodness Essentials. Hey, it's Izzy from Gracious Goodness Essentials. And you might be able to hear from Isabel's voice that whilst we are on holidays in the beautiful Port Hughes, it hasn't been all beer and skittles for Izzy because she has come down with some croup, the poor love, so she's had a really tough couple of mornings. In fact, I've taken Izzy to the doctors for the first time in five years, which I'm pretty impressed about. Five years is a good effort for a nine-year-old not to go visit a GP, but we had to go this morning because we needed some prednisolone. So one of the cool things about essential oils is that you don't have to go completely hippie style to want to try and use essential oils to help support your health. You can still go seek medical help and you can take whatever you need to take in order to get yourselves better and use these gorgeous gifts of the earth to help support your immune system and your breathing and everything else while you're at it. So this is where we're at today. Izzy's going to help me make some honey cough mixture because she's been using our Easy Air Clear Drops, but I didn't expect anyone to get sick these holidays really. So I only bought the one packet and she's already chewed her way through them. We are making some honey and essential oil cough, cough throat medicine, uh, all right, or, or support. So what we're going to be using is some natural raw honey. This is from home. This is from Pine Ridge Honey. It is just creamed honey. Creamed honey is just whipped raw honey. You want to pop a couple of big dollops into the glass for me. Um, and the really good thing about using a raw honey is that um, unlike the stuff that you buy from the shops, it hasn't been pasteurized, which means that it still has all of its vitamins, its minerals and its amino acids that um, in it and its antibacterial action, which gets destroyed when honey is pasteurized. So we want to use the raw stuff for our best immune support. I'm going to chuck another big spoonful in there. So we're going to do a few nice big dollops of honey and then we're going to pop a drop each of these essential oils in here. We're going to do a drop of On Guard Protective Blend because that is our best immune supportive blend that we have in doTERRA. Um, it's got a great mix of wild orange, clove, cinnamon, blueberry. eucalyptus and rosemary. Blueberry. Well, you can do another one if you like because it will give you more to scoop out later. Um, so that's a fantastic antibacterial, antiviral, um, immune supportive blend. We're also going to add some frankincense. Uh, frankincense is amazing at cellular repair and immune support. Uh, it's an all-round good guy and it's considered to be an enhancer as well, which means it enhances the actions of other essential oils. And the other one we're going to add in is some lemon, because lemon is lovely and soothing on the throat. It's a great antioxidant, it's also a great cleanser, uh, and in particular it works really well on soothing a sore throat. So we're just going to add one drop. Because Izzy's still a child, I just want to keep it nice and small. We're going to do one drop of each of these. And when she gets that tickle in her throat, she's going to take a spoonful of it. If I was doing it for myself or for another adult, I would perhaps add a couple of drops. Um, but Izzy's only little, so she doesn't need too many essential oils. Uh, not internally, anyway. So, one drop of each of these, my love. That's okay. If you get two, it's okay. It really is. Because each time she takes a scoop, she's only going to be taking a small teaspoon and kind of sucking on the spoon. So she won't be getting too many essential oils in any one here. Excellent. Now, so topically, we've been using Breathe. I've also been using the Aroma Touch, believe it or not, on her chest because Aroma Touch has got beautiful marjoram and peppermint, which is also really good um, respiratory support. And uh, so between the two, we've been diffusing. I brought my diffuser with me. We've been diffusing immune support and respiratory support blends. Um, we've been popping them on topically. And now we're going to be using this as well. Uh, and in conjunction with some Western medicine to help kick us through. So there you go. We'll give this a stir, my love. And you can give it a taste and tell them what you think about it. And that's as, that's as tricky as it needs to be. You can make your own cough drops, okay? So this was on guard, lemon and frankincense. Other times I've used peppermint, I've used myrrh. It just depends what I have on hand, what the issue is that I'm trying to help. There you go. And that right there is our cough drop. Pop that in, have a suck and tell me what you think. It's okay? Good. There you go. And that from a fussy nine-year-old. So I'll leave you with it and I hope that you stay happy and healthy. Catch you later. Bye.